Wigeland Sculpture Park in Frogner Park. Frogner Park is a public park located in the West End borough of Frogner in Oslo, Norway. The park is historically part of Frogner Manor and the manor house is located in the south of the park and houses Oslo Museum. The Frogner Park contains in its present center the Wigeland installation a permanent sculpture installation created by Gustav Wigeland between 1924 and 1943. It consists of sculptures as well as larger structures such as bridges and fountains. Frogner Park is the largest park in the city and covers 45 hectares. The sculpture installation is the world's largest sculpture park made by a single artist. It features 212 bronze, granite and cast iron sculptures, all designed by Gustav Bigeland. The bridge has 58 bronze sculptures showing men, women and children of different ages. Shared themes for the sculptures on the bridge are play, lust, energy and vitalism. Just beyond the bridge, through a rose garden, is the fountain, surrounded by 20 statues from all stages of life from childhood to death. In the center of the basin, six giants hold the large vessel aloft, and from it a curtain of water spills down around them, with the 20 tree groups on the surrounding parapet. Originally designed to stand in Eidsvoll Plaza in front of the Parliament of Norway, the bronze fountain is adjourned with 60 individual bronze reliefs and is surrounded by a 1,800 square meter black and white granite mosaic. The monolith plateau is a platform in the north of Frogner Park made of steps that houses the monolith totem itself. 36 figure groups reside on the elevation, representing a circle of life theme. The monolith at the highest point in Frogner Park measures 17 meters above ground and is the park's most popular attraction, being fabricated from one piece of solid stone. The sculpture depicts 121 human figures clinging and floating together. There is women and men of different ages and the top of the monolith is crowned with children. Every figure there represents a different stage of life. If you go a little further past the monolith, you can see the Wheel of Life Sculpture. As we didn't go there, here is a photo from the Google Maps. Gustav Wigelen was also responsible for the design and architectural outline of the park, which is one of Norway's top tourist attractions, with more than 1 million annual visitors. The park is open to the public at all times. Also, you can visit the Wigeland Museum, which has an almost complete collection of Gustav Wigeland's art. Mm -hmm.